Look what we found in the jungles of the Philippines. Is it a dinosaur egg? Possibly an alien seed? Actually, it's neither of those, but it is historic, it is cultural, and it is a culinary delight. So come with us as we show you where we found this, how it's made, and what it is. This is Albuquerque, the hole, and we are trying to find a place to go up the mountain. We might have to stop and ask somebody. I hope there's a sign in here. <clears throat> I do too. Mommy. Oh, to the right? Wow. Uh, here, yeah. In this room. So if you, oh, we if turn you, here? Yeah, if you see con and vec tourist in there, you turn right. Oh, jeez. Truck one tip over. <laughs> Yes, kaya, pwede mga tana, asa dapat ang asinti buok? At least, ato ka sa ikuan, kaya na ikapilya di ha. Oo. Ampo ka to, kaya namin kasada po nung ito. Ay, dili pa rin sa highway dapat, muliko? Dili, ato ka to, ato ka. Straight lang? Oo, ato ka. Liko, kaya na ikapilya sa San Roque di ha. Ato ka po, sa ito. Pag, it mo straight miss, covered court na to. Oo, covered court na di ha. Oo. Bampo ka to, ako. Ah, so in straight mo mo, liko me, right? Ah, okay, salamat. So it's, it's by the covered court? Yeah, you, tur uh, you go straight in the covered court and then turn right. That's what you said. Turn right would put us in the water. Would put us in the sea. <laughs> That's what you said. the other direction. Yeah. It's some heavy jungle there. Mm -hmm. it's tree. So he said to go up here by the covered court and turn right? Yeah. I guess maybe the sea is a little further down. That's well, stairs. Should he should go inside the covered court. Yeah. Oh, I see him back by the car. Ate, matanya nak kuasa tapi tak asin tibok dera, ba? Asin tibok dera? Betul. Nak, pilih mana lagi dera? Oh, terima kasih. We can drive down there. Yeah, she said.
this big old court. Yeah. All right, here we go. Go goes the cat. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we got. Can you call this way? Sure. I will. Cow. Cow. Hello, Athena. Her other slipper, bear. I do not. Right <laughs> In the door. <laughs> yeah. It's a good place for it. Me. Me. What does the goat say? <laughs> goat was right on time. <laughs> What's up, little buddy? What are you doing, huh? You're all tied up. Shall we? No. Yeah. I'm going to want to talk. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the guests. To the blessing of Asinan ni Tan Inong. Maybe that's the name of the person, Tan Inong. Kirsty, Tan Inong. Yeah. Wait. I'll show them. <laughs> Kara ang mga... The, the old Asinderos, like old people. The names of, of those people are, um, they call this Hermi, I uh, was going to, how do you say it? These people are what? Um, they're the one who... Produces? Produce, yeah. Okay. That's the name. They're the current producers or are they historical or ones historical. from the past? Oh? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of the lineage then of all the people that have produced this? Mommy, yeah. what, the one, the way? That it's, um, it's a goat. What the goat is Hello, Kuya. Good morning. Good morning. So there's also another uh, uh, yeah, barangay who's making uh, the same as this? Yeah, but there he said they're the Mommy, old tradition of Madre. Madre first. Oh. Yeah, they're the first one who's making the <laughs> Hey guys, we are having problems in the GoPro audio, so let me explain to you what's going on. He is showing us the process to make a sentibuo. First of all, they will take the coconut husk and they cut it into slices. Then, they put the husk into a lake that is filled with salt water from the sea. Once it's in the salt water, they will let it sit there for 90 days. 
eventually the coconut husks are going to sink to the bottom of the salt water they're gonna have white residue on them that is that lets them know these husks are completely saturated with salt then this point of the time they take them out of the water yeah And so these are what? After three months, they would turn like that. Mm. Oh, it's really soft. It's really soft. It's really soft. Is that salt? Dagat? Yeah, oh. dag uh, no, dagat is ocean or... Dagat is ocean, okay. Yeah. Or Wait. sea. Ibulad is in the sea. After they take them out of the water, the coconut has must sun dry for a day. Like sun dry. Sun dry it for one day? Yeah. So soak it for three months in salt water. When it sinks, they know it's done, and then they dry it in the uh, sun for yeah. one day, 24 hours? Yeah. Yeah, after, yeah. Okay. They need uh they, before they soak it in the uh, sea water, mm -hmm. they need to get the the hard shell. Get the hard shell. Yeah, of the coconut. And put it in the in the sea water. Yeah. Let's go inside. And so these Bawal are after they're dry? Yeah, after oh. they dry. So they will burn it in here, in this circle. Oh, really? Yeah. So you have a big fire in here and burn it? Yeah. Oh, you have a big fire in here and burn it? Yeah, they will put... They will put um, wood in there, and then that's how they. So they burn it with mahogany wood in the circle for or, for how long? Five days. Five days. Five days to six days. Jeez. Oh, so it should be ash. So you burn it down to an ash. Yeah. Okay. Mahogany ash with the salt. No, any any kind of wood. Any kind of wood. Okay. Ah, so, um, while it's burning, kayo no? Kayo. But it's still burning, or, yeah, they they will spray uh, salt water. That. Oh, okay. To keep it smoldering for five or six days? So, they, the, yeah, the, the ash will, um, Oh, it absorbs. It absorbs. No, yeah, it will firm. Bye, the ang abu ane gahe tawag o gasang. 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 That's the name of the finished product. Gasang. Gasang. Yeah. Yeah. Ibutal ibutal din ane. Manang murag ash. Oh. So the ash. Diri diri gikan diri sunod. Ah, so the ash they will put the ash there in the three. In the top of these funnels. Yeah, funnel. You can you can cut. Filter. Yeah. Go up there. Oh wow. So it's filled with ash. Uh, they will uh, filter to filter this they will um sprinkle 
Kanamurad gamay. Tama agas yan. Tama sa puno po ng kunduhan na mana. Yeah, they will put salt water or seawater. So they they filter seawater through the ash. Yeah. And then after... And the ash collects the salt? Yeah. Correct? It goes down here. Oh, yeah. We'll no, no, it's in here. It will go in there. Okay. After and after. After that, they will cook it in there, in the wok. I You gotta grab her, babe. That's deep. Mommy, I'll be No, 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 no. I'll be my dog. I'll be my dog. I'll be my dog. Kawa. We call this um, equipment Kawa. Kawa? Yeah. Oh. That refers to the big bowl? Yeah. So the the filtered um, ash will go through there. Yeah, it will go through there. After uh, they've filtered the water, mm -hmm. it will go through uh, in this... Uh, oh, it comes out of the... Through the ash that are in those giant funnels. Yeah. Through the black pipe. Yeah, it will Which is, what, here? And it comes into this? Yeah, there was uh, this... I don't know if that's clay or what. Oh, coconut tree. Oh, that's part of a tree? Yeah. Wow. So he's putting these little pots all together. And he's going to show us how that process works. This water, okay. um, they need to boil the finished product, not finished product, the water, and boil it first. But it doesn't. So they take the water out of this log, right? Yeah, this one. This coconut tree. Coconut tree? And then they put it in here and boil it? Yeah, boil it. So there's a huge fire going all through this. Right. Yeah. yeah. So and they then, boil it and then... And then um, this dirty. <laughs> pot, this small pot, it needs to... Um, it should be hot. And then after that, put uh, water, Mom, um, put water in here. Okay. Like when it's dried up, mm -hmm. you need to put more water or else it will break. Okay. So when it's dried up, put water, dried up water, and then put a little bit of uh, that in the and then for 8, 8 a.m. 8 30 to 3 p.m. So eight, the process of this of this product is 8 30 to 4 p.m. Okay. So like six and a half hours? Yeah. And then that's the finished product. And tell us the name of that salt again? Uh, asin, asin tibu uk. Asin tibu uk. Asin, asin tibu uk. Yeah, asin tibu uk. So that's that. Okay. Should we look at the finished product? No. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. So that's coconut shell, right? No, this is a clay. Oh, this is the oh yeah, the clay. Yeah, the clay there. I was thinking it was in a shell, but it's clay. That's how they get that shape. Mm -hmm. And then the salt on the top. Mm -hmm. It's really firm. So, huh. so ang kaning concept kaya salt sa ning kaya na. Yeah, the bottom, the bottom is also um, salt. Okay. That's so, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Saan niya paggamit kaya? Pwede na para ni, para ni, ikras para ni, tumukaw ni. Ni idugmok ra? O pag Pag di na ma dala o kwan mo, imo na dugmo kon yo dug dug kon ng ba nang nga so Manila ibig galingon Manila. Oh, yeah, um, there's a part where you can just um, mommy tra uh, where you can what where you can uh what do you call this? It's easy to break in to use it, and then eventually it's hard to break, so you need um you need grinder. a file, right? Yeah, a grinder. A file, a file. No, a grinder. To bring it, if you want to use it. Oh. So, yeah. Zina, what's wrong? Oh. <clears throat> Your hands are clean. Do you want down? No, my. My Dino. Oh, Okay. So. I think that's all we need in here. Yeah. I'm gonna buy one. Pilang, inyong kan kaya? 
Kuwanto siya? 850. If packaging is 850 with a box mm -hmm. and this uh, doesn't have box, so 750. Very heavy. Is that concrete? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Lift>. <laughs> Action. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a really heavy chunk of concrete that they're hauling off into the off into the jungle. <laughs> See you, amigo. All right, guys, this is the finished result. It is the dinosaur egg, as they call it. This is a centuries old process. They've been doing this for well over 500 years in the Philippines. It's the only place that they do this, and it's been around since the Spanish, Spanish Inquisition. The process itself takes three plus months for the minerals to get into the coconut shells and ultimately into the dinosaur egg. So it's a really long process. It's listed as one of the rarest salts on earth. Let's go ahead and take a look what it looks like. I took a, I took a regular cheese grater and grated it down into this powder. It's not granulated like a regular salt. Let me give it a try. Mmm, that's really good. It's not near as strong as a regular salt. It kind of hits you lighter where regular salt is really strong and hard hitting it's very very good asin tobo tobook is that how i pronounce it asin tobook asin tobook <laughs> the finished product thumbs up for this one guys Morning.
What is the name of the restaurant? Harvest Heights Cafe. Harvest Heights Cafe. Yes. Right. Sir. Thank you. What is that? What's that? What is that? What's that? What is that? What's this? GoPro. GoPro.